Good morning. It's good afternoon, good night, depending on which part of the world you're watching this video from. I am Black Bright and I am recording from the UK. And I've just heard some brilliant news about Tyler Perry. He has now opened the first black studio ever. Can you imagine black history making history and through Tyler Perry? So it's really at the in the UK for Black History Month that I can talk about something more positive. Over the last few weeks, we've had um, not such good news relating to black people. And so sometimes we do need a lift. Otherwise, the world seems like a dreary place. You know, even in our homes, sometimes we think, oh, is it worth going on? Is it worth continuing? But when you see someone fulfilling a dream, someone who is of the odds, is persisting and doing something for himself and others, it does give some inspiration. So now black people can tell their story. Their black history can be um, created and documented accurately. It doesn't have to be compromised. They don't have to be running to um, white producers, white directors, who will tell them what to say, what roles to play, how to produce. Tyler Perry has created his own studio with how many band stages? Um, 12 new sound stages which he is naming after black actors. Isn't that phenomenal? It's so, it's really, really wonderful news. And it's, you know, it's never too late for a shower of rain. It never is. And, you know, we have so many um, prominent black actors, but you know, Tyler Perry, he's still quite young. And we'll have actors coming up who are intelligent, who are creative, who have the imagination to create our story in ways that it's never been told before. So I'm looking forward to it. I think the Medea script was initially rejected and um, Tyler Perry forged ahead regardless. He was told, he was advised against building um, his own studio, but he went on regardless. And he is, he is someone who you can look up to regardless. He, it really is wonderful. I hear the Oval is being premiered on BET on the 23rd of um, October, which is just about a week or so away. Um, I'm not quite sure if we'll be able to access that in the UK, but it's at 9pm. Um, that's the 23rd of October. And so Ty, this is where Tyler Perry um, joins forces with BET two legends so it's really really quite good just want to make sure this is very short and sweet um yeah i just wanted to say a new black film studio created by a black person for a black person he has created a film studio out of his own money so he hasn't had to borrow well i don't know if he's borrowed but he hasn't had to ask for permission and i assume by using his own money whether it's um based on what he has, he's, you know, accessing his own funds. What I mean to say, he doesn't have to go and, you know, improvise himself by having to ask other people for money to build it. Um, he converted a federal military base into this film studio in America, which is brilliant. Um, and and it's on four, eight, 400 acres. Somebody was talking about all we asked for was four acres and a mule. And they said now Tyler Perry has built this studio on 400 acres. Um, the video is going around. I don't have it on YouTube, so I can't put it in the um, in the description. But I'm sure if you put Tyler Perry's new studio, it will come up where you see all the black artists. And what I've done is kind of condensed all their comments just to share this video. Um, what else was there? The entertainment history now has its own platform where black actors can feel accepted, not rejected. You can imagine over the years how many black actors have been rejected, how many have had to compromise themselves. And remember, remember um, those black artists that were, those black actors that were made to put on dresses and skirts in order to play a part. They had to compromise their masculinity. You know, things like that. Roles that 
black people had to play that went against their morals, but because they wanted the money or they needed the money, they sold their soul for it and they ended up playing parts that discredited them, really. So, yeah, so we have to kind of give Tyler Perry the props because black people can now have their dignity or regain their dignity and play parts for which they were meant to play. Um without compromising their values. Um, he's a hope and inspiration, giving black people more opportunities to grow and dream and have jobs. So that is another fantastic thing. I mean, it doesn't mean that everybody, he's going to accept everybody, of course. You know, not every black person who's an actor is going to run up to Tyler Perry and think, oh, because I'm black, I'm going to um, get a part to play or I'm going to get a role. It does mean that, you know, he is still going to select the best of the best. So it is a competitive market. So um, don't just feel that because you've got something, oh, and Tyler Perry is black, you have to kind of know yourself, know what you're capable of of know your abilities your ability to communicate well and share your story and i do hope that some real non-violent stories there must be a way to tell our story without inciting violence and without involving too much violence there has to be a way you know we do not want to be always associated with violence and crime so i do hope that this, his industry, his entertainment industry is going to show us for the type of people we are, which is that we're determined, we're strong, we're resilient. We have a sense of humour. And yes, we defend ourselves and we defend our, our territory. But, you know, we do not want to be seen as gang, gang related, drugs related, murder, materialistic because that's not really our story. That's the story we have inherited over time in order to survive and because what we felt, a lot of us felt, we needed to do to get by. Now we do not have to tell that story anymore. We do not have to make believe we're something that we're not. We don't have to accept scripts that do not represent us in the right way anymore. And that is the good thing about this. This is power. Tyler Perry, I don't know if he knows what he's doing, but if he does it right, this is power. This is giving black people the opportunity to represent themselves in a way that is unbiased and uncompromised. And that's all I've got to say, really, folks. Oh, and he came from Atlanta to build his dream and his dream has come true. Bye bye.